Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley and we're going to be doing some Shogun 2. This is going to be a 1 versus 1 uh, with myself just facing off against Indie Pride. If you guys don't know him, check out his YouTube channel. He does a lot of gameplay. Pretty good player. Um, in any case, we're going to be playing on a um, very interesting yeah, uh, map. I think it's Yamasaki Crossing or something like that. I, I can't remember the Shogun 2 names, but the maps are awesome. Um, as close as you can get to you know these highly polished asymmetrical and often symmetrical maps that have more interesting details than uh, any other Total War games. Maybe even a Rifles Arena. Um, and that's why I love the Shogun 2 multiplayer. Anyways, we're going to be making a rush for the various um, farmhouses out here. So I'm going to go ahead and claim this one first by moving up my bow cav. Indy Pride has most of his force position here, so Nagina attendance, he's always pushing those guys in the front as meat shields. He's got a lot of these Nodachi core up to the front, backing that up with some Matchlock Samurai and a Yari Shigaru. Uh, doing the same thing over here, and then some Yari Cav backing that up. I, myself, am going to pretend that I have almost nothing here. Let's put this on slow motion. So you can see the vast majority of my force is hidden, so some Nodachi in there. Oh, now I'm going to Warrior Monks and some more Katana Cav. And then what I'm going to reveal is, you know, one Yari Cav. I'm going to, you know, I kept that guy hidden at the beginning of the battle, and then I pull him out to make Indy think that this was the only hidden force. That's a, a little faint that I like to do at times. More units hidden here. And my front lines is going to be these Nagana Samurai. They're good at holding down a fight. Matchlock Ashigaru, and then of course the Bokav. So my main intention here is just to do delaying tactics, vie for attention here, and then push around this side. So I have Yari Ashigaru going to be fighting Nagirina Tenets. I should win that fight, so I'm going to try and claim the other uh, positions here. I've been able to force him off this territory because I have more units, so Wako Raiders here to threaten this force. Yari Cav and Yari Ashigaru. That should easily beat back Avatar's Bodyguard, Yari Cav, Yari Cav, and Nagirina Tenets because I have my own Bodyguard and another Yari Cav. So I'm trying to claim all of these positions, get a favorable advantage, and then engage decisively with my reinforcements here once I have the uh, different shrines under my control. At least that's my uh, my initial move. Um, like I said, I'm trying to deal in deceits and tactics. I have a lot of forces over there, so Indy's thinking that I have most of my guys deployed over there. And that's going to make him be a little bit more aggressive over here, feel like he's a little more comfortable. Um, and let's see uh, kind of what that yields. I'm going to put this on play. I think we get the, the lowdown of what's happening. And watch my bow cav. I love the uh, the first person mode here. Press insert and it drops you almost like on top of the horse itself. I'm just gonna park myself here. Just get as many free kills as I can. So every shot here I get is a, is a free is a free shot. He's doing nothing uh, to force me back. He's doing a lot of these back and forths. It's just some jostling for position. Um, and I figured you know that's what that's why I like the bow cav because they allow you to, to to seize upon those opportunities. Uh, and just get some free kills. You can see this unit is down to 79 men. There's been almost no engagement. And just jostling for positions. And in the downtime, I'm going to fire arrows. Get some early shots off. And he gets almost nothing out of that. Um, he is slowly moving up to position with these matchlocks. And it looks like Andy wants to make a massive push. You can see he's withdrawing his cav from that position over there. That means that I can now seize these territories. So I have my kind of my pinky toe of this unit still in this uh, in this area, so I'm going to seize this workshop. Yep, it's mine, so that's more armor and melee defense. I'm then going to swarm over here, threaten this force, and try and claim next the farmhouse. Stamina and movement speed, not that important, but I still want to have you know uh, control over that before the engagement gets underway. And then I'm also going to try and contend the cap over here so he doesn't even have that advantage to deal with. I'm keeping his matchlocks out of position. Now he can sort of get some shots on my guys here, but I'm going to use this dojo actually to protect myself. That's the advantage as well uh, with the bows. So I can move my bow cav behind the farmhouse, shield myself for the most part, um, whereas I can shoot arcs over and kill his men. He can't. I also have a little bit of terrain to my advantage, so I'm using everything I can to try and delay Indy's push. It's a pretty formidable force with these matchlock um, warrior monks with extreme range, like suppressing fire, um, a lot of nodachi and stuff like that. So I really know I can't hold this up with the units I have um, dis you know, at my disposal right now. He's going to throw forward his, uh, his Nagina attendants, so I'm going to engage a little bit just to keep them from charging too far, and then I'm going to pull back. So I just want to keep whittling away at these guys. It looks like I lost two, three men in that engagement, but it was enough to, you see, force his guys back. So all the while, I want to trade very cost-effectively. I'm going to park myself up through here. Uh, didn't intend to get you know caught in that melee, so I'm going to pull out of that engagement real quick. It cost me three cavalry or four cavalry horses, um, but I wanted to shatter this guy. Allow me to draw back, and he's going to be throwing kind of everything into this fight. So here he goes, charging forward with his Yari Cav. However, I have these Nagina Samurai here, and I'm going to charge in with my Nagina Samurai. They're excellent at holding the enemy firm, 
So there you go, now you get a Samurai with high armor. They're just gonna be stuck into these Nodachi, break up their charge, prevent them from getting anything significant. And I'm gonna hold up his entire force. All these units of Matchlock Warrior Monks cannot shoot past their own men, so that's gonna be to my advantage. And you can see even these Nodachi here starting to, uh, to break and waver a little bit. Over here I'm going to engage with another Yari Ashigaru, which is fodder units to hold his guys back. Meanwhile I'm going to shuttle, shuffle around some of my guys. Bow Cav to continue to rake in the kills. And then meanwhile over here I'm going to start to execute a massive flanking attack up through the back. He's going to try and pour more men through the center, but because of my heavy spears through here, he's not going to be able to do that. He's trying to scoot some cavs through the woods, but uh, my Nagana Samurai able to pull back into a nice position. I actually broke his Nodachi, and now I can re-engage to hold his Naginata's, uh you know, warrior cab right there. So Naginata's, I find uh, Warrior Samurai to be very, very effective. So he's tossing everything through here, not super cost-effectively. Bow's continuing to shoot. I'm doing a staggered retreat. However, he does now break through my center. I actually didn't have too much here, so now he's going to charge uninhibited, and this is where I spring the trap. So here come all these Nodachi, all of these Naginata, or, Matt, or Warrior Monks, sorry. They're going to counter charge into the opponent that is now in complete disarray. The cavalry here, totally out of position, unsupported. I'm going to charge straight into that. Getting an awesome flanking charge, and he's going to be caught by surprise with his guys. Out of position, I get some nice katana samurai attacks into his avatar's bodyguard and tie him down. Bow cav shooting into this mass of men, and then up through the back, I now have units in the back coming to threaten these guys. So I'm keeping this force uncommitted from the front, and then I'm going to get some nice surrounds. Nodachi going to try and get some charges in through here. They're going to get countercharged by his own men. Uh, my guys are going to start to waver. I have another unit charging into the mix. So I'm going to have to start popping Bonsai and other abilities soon to try and steady my line. So it's going to be a huge grinding fight. I mean, take a look at all these units right through here. So he has a lot of heavily veteran guys. Um, so you can see there I pop Bonsai on all my units, keeping them strong. And my, my main goal is here to delay, delay, delay. I've executed this flanking attack through here. Cavalry is going to be pinning down his Yari Cabin. Here comes my general. Um, free reign at the back of his men and this is exactly why I wanted to have holding tactics so I could hold just long enough to get some rear strikes onto his men try and break his guys and here it goes so once his bonsai wears off it should be able to crack his morale with the um, losses being dealt to the rear however he has broken through in these positions so he's going to be trying to do the same thing wrapping around the rear of my ranks I'm gonna pop some inspire and rally ability with my general so Definitely a, a lot of back and forth. My guy is still alive here. I have some matchlock Ashigaro sitting tight up front. And uh, they're going to get a final volley. Pretty decisive right there. Doing more damage to his cav. My bow cav is going to stay alive. And just scoot on out of there. My matchlock Ashigaro are gone. I'm going to execute another retreat right through here. I notice that he has overwhelming forces. He's coming in with his matchlocks. I'm going to disengage. Figure that I have now gained um, a pretty significant advantage. I think I've knocked out most of his men. They're tired. And I do have the um, range superiority yes he has matchlocks but with my bows at the extreme ranges of his force i think i can win out his yari cav is going to get caught in a pursuit of my own cav bogged down in the river and i'm going to counter charge with my men he's going to be slowed down and destroyed so i'm going to be doing uh kind of pulling out of this engagement perhaps not the best because more of my guys got caught up in the retreat and without the supporting aura of my general are going to start to get whittled down i am pushing through the back so you know he's Forcing my units back, but that's okay. You'll notice that I have this capture point, this capture point, and now I'm going to go for the final capture point over here. And in doing so, I'm also going to threaten the rear of his army. Right over here, my Yari Ashigaru are going to chase off his um, matchlocks. My center is going to crack, so Indy is going to be able to charge forward. This was a uh, kind of scary for me because if his matchlock could reform and get into position, there was no way I could deal with him. So I kind of had to turn about and re-engage. At least with some units to keep his matchlocks from, from being effective. So, yeah, Yarashigaru, Yarashigaru, gonna charge. They're gonna start to waver. Um, this is kind of a scary moment for me, and yeah, there they go, they're gonna waver. This one breaks, this one is breaking. The rest of my forces over here are contending with his Yari Ashigaru and Naginata Warrior Monk have. So, I'm losing more and more men. His war cry is gonna shatter, or at least break two of my guys. Um, so it looks like it's not going very well for me. I wasn't really able to pull out of that engagement. He cleared the top ranks. You can see the bodies left over. And now look at how many men he has left. And I don't have much left. What do I have? Nodachi, Bokav, General, and one unit over here. So this is my uh, Wako Raiders, which are actually very, very strong units. Very excellent in melee. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of this engagement as quickly as possible and hide them behind this morale shrine. 
And what I want to do is not only keep this secured, but also, you know, threaten the flank. Because I, I know, okay, my last ditch effort is to start chipping away at him with my Bokev. And just, if I can stay out of range of these Mashlock Warrior Monks, then I should be able to, uh, to have a little bit more of a fighting chance. My Yari Ashigaru actually have reformed on this flank and on this flank, so numbers are swinging back a little bit in my favor. Balance Bar is still kind of um, tending to be in Indy's favor. I'm going to charge uphill. Um, this is going to be very, very troublesome if he gets a nice volley. However, most of the guys are caught reloading, and I'm going to be able to charge the front line. So there you go, half of his men cut out in the open right there. So this was a very big break for me. He needed to keep those matchlocks alive, and he didn't. This is going to be the moment I know he has to retreat, so I'm going to chase with my Waka Raiders. If I can get these guys into combat, I know I can win. If you take a look at his guys, he's got mostly attendants and Yari Samurai. So his infantry is not that great, actually. So I really want to get, um, you know, tied up with his forces um, as long as I can get rid of his matchlocks. I'm going to use my Yari Cav remaining Yari Cav to do just that. So I've, you know, threatened one of his guys here, the Yari Ash Garu broke, and then I'm going to charge into his matchlocks. Try and dispatch them over here. I'm just baiting his guys out of position, daring them to come across the river when they decide um, better of that choice. Then my bow cab is going to shoot them in the back. So those guys have a lot of ammo, so I'm slowly whittling them away. Charge in with my Yari Cav. Going to continue to pursue on his men. Indy's going to pop Rally Ability. He really doesn't want his matchlocks to leave the field. Um, I'm going to be able to do some damage against his general. However, he is going to do away with my cavalry here. But in the ensuing uh, carnage, my guys did open up an opportunity for my Wako Raiders to get in close. And my uh, Avatar's Bodyguard is being very, very um, ballsy with this move. Kind of charge. I tried to get at his uh, Matchlock Warrior Monks. Didn't quite work. But I was able to move in close. Again, cause a distraction. Enough of a distraction for my guys finally to get committed. He's getting some shots on with his Matchlock Warrior Monks. However, they're not formed absolutely perfectly and so they didn't get all the volleys they wanted i'm going to continue to scoot around here pop bonsai so i didn't break um and then pop um rally trying to get my guys together what i'm going to try and do is now land a nice strike on the side of these guys reinforcements are inbound and so i was able to break those guys shatter them my uh waka raiders are doing well i've got the enemy general tied up this is a crucial moment you can see how he is all alone he's got nine men they're isolated meanwhile this force is struggling to catch up with my men i've Tied up his um, Nodachi here with my Yari Ashigaru. They're gonna, my guys are gonna break, but that's fine. I'm gonna counter charge them in the rear. Meanwhile, as he's reforming, my Bokev have, have co continued to fire, focusing fire on some of his key units. And then I'm tying them up with my own Nodachi against these attendants. I should win that engagement. Let's take a look. He still has his warrior monks. If these guys can reform and start putting on the suppressing fire, um, they should be able to break my guys. The morale penalties inflicted by, you know, extreme losses and gunfire are very strong. However, his unit's doing a lot of dancing, and it looks like he missed an opportunity to get a volley against my Arya Shigaru. That's going to allow me to then charge into his general. I'm going to try and do just that, and it's, you know, his general is now wavering. My unit is wavering. If he could have gotten a volley, there he goes. It starts to go off. That should break my Arya Shigaru. But it happened slightly too late after I killed his general. Um, and that causes an immediate shock to his army. So there he goes. His force is going to break. This unit down here is now going to break. And um, yeah, there you go. That uh, Just because this unit was finicky, uh, I feel bad for Indy. That was kind of a, a, a game glitch. His guys could have gotten volleys off way sooner. Had they done that, he could have rescued his general. And we were really on the, you know, the knife's edge of morale for both of our armies. So it could have easily gone either way. I think I won that coin toss and ended up... Uh, pulling off a nice win because of it. A bit of an uphill fight at one point, but I think my strategy uh, did really prove to be uh, very beneficial. The hidden attack, the choice to go after all the morale shrines, I had a, not, a lot of nice penalties which helped me uh, hold pretty strong uh, there through to the end. So if you guys enjoyed this one, uh, this was the first game that Indy and I had played together on Shogun 2 in a while. He was a bit rusty, I was a bit rusty. Nonetheless, I think it was a good game. Um, Indy did say that, uh, you know, this was a shameful display on his part. We went on to play a couple more battles. Uh, he, he wasn't sated uh, with this first loss and defeat. Uh, he give you a try harder a little bit. Um, but go ahead and check his channel. I think he's cast the follow-ups. I just want to share you this one uh, because it was, I think it was really cool. It was uh, an interesting battle, different than most Shogun 2 battles. It was well drawn out. I had a nice ambush. I was downhill, came back up, swept it, and then the final engagement at the end was, you know, kind of teetering on a nice edge like I said before. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these stats, see who the MVP was on either side 
Um, again, I like to say that my Bokev is probably the MVP of my force here. You can see it starts shooting from the get-go till the end. Choose your targets and they get a lot of kills. Um, actually, Indy got uh, more kills than me. I, I, I tend to go for more numerous forces than quality forces. Um, kind of a dangerous strategy if you get a mass route. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at the kills. Yep, told you. Bokav, 198. My Wako Raiders, I don't know <laughs> why I called them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, but that's their name. Um, my Nodachi, Naginata Samurai, doing pretty well. Um, my own Cav, not doing so well. I mean, they did okay. Let's see, Indy Pride, how did he do? Yeah, he, he's, his guys here heavily, or they weren't even upgraded, but he does like his Nodachi, uses them very well. Even the General, 179 kills. So, how many did mine get? 136. Okay, both of our generals being kind of badasses in that engagement. And yeah, four Nagin and attendants doing what they do best, meat shielding for the most part. Um, yeah, fun game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and check Indie Pride's channel for more content uh, as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.